It's a uh, frosty cold morning, uh, below zero temps here today. Uh, typical weather for uh, late January in Minnesota. We've got some portions of a deer carcass that was generously donated to my pack. A nice big chunk of liver there. Then over here waiting patiently are my dogs. In the back there we got my German Shepherd Lobo, Lycan Shepherd Honey Badger, Toki, Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan, Lycan Shepherds Ulu and Kbar. This is going to be what we call a uh, pack feeding, a pack bong as I've coined. Uh, we do these to help develop and maintain a healthy pack hierarchy. It puts my dogs in a high stress situation with a high value food item and it teaches them how to be social and work things out. And that behavior transfers over, you can see in my literally hundreds of uh, off-leash videos when they encounter dogs in our hike that aren't necessarily the most social. For those who will act, uh, those who will ask, uh, yes, the dogs live in the house. They are merely here for me to uh, shoot the, interest, uh, the intro of this video. Let's let them out. We have four unneutered males out here and uh, two uh, intact females. See, you don't have to neuter your dogs to make them social. For those who will say, uh, aren't your dogs cold? Well, again, they live in the house. These guys do spend a lot of time hiking outdoors with me in the winter. Uh, you know, they've got thick double coats like most northern breeds and they're bred to be in this kind of weather. So all of us being out here together filming this isn't uh, adversely affecting them at all. But you know, you'll always have those people who will uh, get vocal in the comments about that. You know, people who come from colder climates and they don't understand that some places like here, we have snow on the ground uh, six months out of the year, uh, sometimes seven if we get uh, snow in October or uh, May. Uh, the only month on record with no snowfall in Minnesota is August. coming over to tell me uh, thank you for the uh, good food. Boy, you like that, huh? Again, I get uh, deer like this donated all the time from uh, local hunters and uh, people in the area. This deer was actually hit by a car, unfortunately. I find it funny that uh, Kurgan wants to claim that piece with the liver because he doesn't typically enjoy liver at all. Uh, he's one of my dogs that doesn't like liver. Some of my dogs just love it, but uh, not Kurgan. Again, this deer has been frozen for uh, over a month. You want to feed, uh, freeze wild game for a period uh, of at least three weeks to kill any uh, potential parasites in it. The same with pork. Pork should be frozen at least three weeks. Pork or wild game. Uh, beef, chicken, and the majority of fish only needs to be frozen uh, three days. You know, if you do feed salmon or trout, those two fish need to be frozen uh, at least seven days because they can carry a potentially deadly parasite. I just avoid those two fish altogether because of that. The Lobo has kind of a, a low food drive. He has a very high uh, play drive. I've shown that in other videos. So he. He doesn't really compete that much with the other dogs uh, for something, unless it's something he really, really likes. 
But, you know, if I start throwing the ball around the yard, uh, he's going to be the top dog on it. Again, dogs just have different drives. He's never been a big eater. There's some organs in that pile there that's frozen together. Badger's got the tail. <laughs> I don't know why, they all love playing with tails. So the plastic you see over there isn't trash, it's uh, my dog's favorite toy. I don't know why they enjoy plastic jugs better than all the toys we buy them, but go figure. It's like cats in boxes, I guess. <laughs> Gergen's enjoying some of that nice white fat there, big chunk frozen there. And again, this isn't what a typical meal looks like here. We, we do these exercises, as, again, uh, as I said, to develop uh, pack cohesion and have them uh, develop a healthy pack hierarchy. And again, it puts them in a stressful situation with a high value food item and it teaches them to work out their differences. You know, that way when they're on hikes and a stray dog uh, snaps at them or, uh, uh, you know, something similar, they, they, they blow it off, uh, you know, unless it uh, escalates to something else because again, they, they've learned to deal with those situations here constructively. And that's not wishful thinking on my part. I, I literally have hundreds and hundreds of videos demonstrating that on my channel. I have over 2,200 plus videos total here. And again, you've got four intact males, all feeding peaceably with uh, two females who are also intact. And uh, Actually, Ulu over there is uh, coming into heat. Uh, she just started bleeding. Uh, she's not receptive or anything, but you'll notice all my males are still doing just fine around her. And that's the way it would be in a pack too. Saying thank you for the meal and then going back over. Kirkin giving her a little sniff to see if she's ready and uh, as an experienced male he knows she's not. Lulu going for uh, some of that frozen liver there. Now Ulu's had a couple litters, so that's why she might look a little thick in the waist. You got to remember she's got a lot of loose skin that uh, hangs down there, her breasts. You know, uh, she, she's nursed a couple litters. So. As some of you ladies out there can probably sympathize, a childbirth does, uh, especially having multiple kids, does take a toll on you, changes you a little bit. Toki's just beautiful. Turns 11 months old here in a couple of days. He's 10 months right now. Toki uh, and Winter both uh, share the same birthday as Tammy, uh, February 24th. I'll have to do a birthday mukbang for to Toki and Tammy together. We'll have to find something they both like. Listen to how squeaky the snow is. The snow squeaks like styrofoam when it's really cold. Don't 
edge with a nice chunk of fat. Such a girl. Telling me thank you for the meal. bar on the left, Toki in the center and badge uh, shot blocking. <laughs> but the Sukurgan coming over for some pets, he's giving me those pet me eyes. <laughs> in the cave bar took his thing. Don't, don't feel sorry for him though. There's food all over the yard. Again, Lobo just has a low prey drive. Or play drive. Or prey. <laughs> Lobo has a low food drive. He has a very high prey drive. So again, uh, when it comes to the food, he's just not really that interested in competing. He's not a big eater. Uh, he's totally interested in finding things to chase. <laughs> You see Toki there trying to butter Kurgan up for that tail. You see him going in there and rolling around like a puppy and pawing him in the face and Kurgan let him have it, you know, because he showed Kurgan respect. You know, if he had just come in there and tried to snatch it from him, Kurgan would have would have put a stop to it. And that just shows you how the pack interacts and communicates. You know, the alpha dog isn't a jerk. At least a good alpha isn't. You know, he wants to see everybody in the pack thrive and do well. And there's plenty of food here for everybody, which he can see. Smelling Ulu to see if she's ready. She's not going to be ready for several days. awful dark on my viewfinder. A lot of times I have to lighten these up by like up to 50% sometimes. So if I look pale and anemic in my videos, uh, I'm not sick. Uh, <laughs> I just have to lighten the footage up a lot of times. Otherwise these black dogs uh, end up looking like just black splotches. play with those deer tails when I get them. I mean, it's not like there's really anything to eat on them, they're just a tough to fur with some bones. the sniffles it's cold out here again below zero temps uh, with wind chill it's uh, negative seven below zero Fahrenheit again we're all out here together you see the dogs are doing fine there these guys are bred for this kind of cold they have extremely dense undercoats you don't even see anybody shift shivering or lifting up their paws they all do have husky and Malamute in them 
a long look gray wolf through the Blue Bay Shepherd. This is the time in my video where I say I, I always like to touch and handle my dogs when they're eating. Uh, it teaches them not to be food aggressive. It desensitizes them to uh, human touch when eating. Kurgan wanting to be pet. And uh, you know, especially if you have children, that's really important. As a former animal warden, you know, one of my jobs was taking bite reports. And I've seen many uh, people badly uh, injured and children maimed uh, in situations that could have been easily avoided with a little forethought. Again, I can touch and handle all these guys, take food from them if I want to, you know. Bad just chasing a squirrel that went up the tree there. <laughs> it jumped from the roof up the tree. Wondering if there's something going on over there. <laughs> there's a big squirrel's nest up in this giant oak we have here. There's squirrels all over the area. So, big man, you want, want some pets? Anytime I crouch down, Kurgan or uh, Lulu is going to swarm me. Now again, when I do these pack feedings, as I always say, I put out way more food than is necessary. Uh, that's because it helps the dogs relax. And uh, doesn't mean they uh, make them feel like they have to compete, that they're gonna get enough. And again, uh, when done, I can just pick it up and throw it back in the freezer or even just leave it out for several days and just let them chew on it because it's, again, the temperatures are below zero right now. And then, you know, in the house, uh, I'll give them some organ meat and uh, a carrot or something else to uh, chew uh, later on to help uh, fulfill that uh, nutritional part of their meal. Again, this isn't what a typical raw meal looks like. This is a pack building exercise. I do have several uh, videos in my raw food uh, playlist, which is always linked in the video description, that will uh, show you what a typical raw meal uh, looks like. I typically uh, recommend people feed the uh, BARF diet. BARF is an acronym for Biologically Appropriate Raw Foods. 
It's a uh, raw feeding protocol that was created by veterinarian Ian Billinghurst. There are also a couple other uh, raw food pre uh, protocols I recommend. Uh, the prey model diet and the RMB diet. Any of those are going to be much better than a uh, nutritionally deficient, overly processed commercial diet. I feed kind of a modified version of the BARF diet. Uh, my ratios are a little different, but again, I've been doing this for over 30 years, so uh, you know, I, I do what I find works best for me and the type of dogs that I'm raising. I do provide lots of information in the video description if you want to learn more. A badge, uh, challenging Kurgan for that food. She didn't want him to get her chunk of fat, I see. <laughs> Kurgan coming over to get pets. bar having a tug of war over that deer leg. Toki decided to move in and what Kurgan was trying to take. <laughs> and again those growls and stuff you hear are all uh, uh, natural canine communication. It's not aggression. Sometimes people misinterpret that. That's, that's how canines communicate and talk. You'll see all these guys are very relaxed uh, despite uh, us having all this raw food out here and a female who is in the early stages of heat. Again, I have four unneutered males out here around her right now. Again, she won't be receptive to be bred for probably another week, but uh, she is bleeding right now, which I'm surprised because she was just in heat uh, a couple months ago and I skipped her. Yeah, it's probably closer to three, three, four months ago, I guess. Kiba and Toki buddies, they're always jacking around with each other. You see Toki's getting big, he's huge for 10 months old. How huge he's going to be, that's still the question. Underneath all that fur, he's really built thick and muscular. So I think he has the potential to be quite big. She gets closer to uh, look at that. He's uh, carrying a piece over there. He's hiding it. You see that? That's K bar. He's always hiding food around the yard. <laughs> that was a chunk of fat he stored back there. Lobo moved in and took that chunk of fat that Badge had, and now she's pissed. <laughs> See, if there's something Lobo really wants, he will assert himself, but he has a pretty low food drive. He's typically not interested. Sweetie, coming in for a close-up. Hard to believe this is that little puppy that I saved, uh, a year and a half ago. If you want to learn how Honey Badger earned her name, there's always a link in the video description that uh, shows that. She's been a fighter since uh, the moment she was born. You can see how she uh,
struggle to survive the birthing process. Yeah, right, sweetie. No deer kisses. <laughs> of course, Miss Ulu's got to come over for some pets too. You gonna let me crouch down to shoot Kurgan? She got that chunk of fat now. Greg <laughs> moving in to assert himself. That's where those all that fat's coming from is they're peeling it off their rib cage. There. Again, this deer was hit by a car. Being a former animal warden, uh, I, I know a lot of guys uh, for the DNR and stuff like that. And sometimes I get stuff like this. telling bad she can't take his leg there plus she's right by where he buried that stuff I think she's gonna get it <laughs> she spotted your stuff K-Bar she got it she took it <laughs> Getting mobbed by everybody wanting to be pet. You're gonna want to take Ulu's piece, and she said, "No, no way, buddy. This is that nice chunk of fat I got. You ain't having that." Kurgan says, I'll just lay down by it and when you're not looking. <laughs> she, she knows. <laughs> That's why she grabbed it and moved away. He saw me bend down, he came over to be pet, and so did she. But she doesn't give up her food. <laughs> I know it's cold because I can feel my mustache starting to freeze from the condensation from my breath. <laughs> Hey, 
take everything I say in these videos with a grain of salt. I'm just some guy on YouTube. I do have over 30 years working with dogs, uh, feeding raw. I was an animal warden for two decades. But you know, I, I don't pass myself off as any kind of authority figure. There are too many people online who do that who shouldn't. I'm not one of those. Uh, you can look at what I'm doing. You can look at all my results with my over 2200 videos and you can decide for yourself if what I'm saying has any merit at all. Lobo's starting to feel pretty playful. <laughs> Lobo's wanting to play and Kurgan's saying, ah, not by the food. Gave our, uh, giving uh, Toki a little nudge there because he was going for some of his food. Mr. Lobo too. He says, no, I want to go inside. I don't want the ball. <laughs> well, we are 32 minutes into this. It is a cold day. I think I'm going to let them in and all of us warm up a bit. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get uh, email notifications when our new videos come out. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, we ask that you do. It helps us out a lot with the algorithm. If you think we deserve it, give us a thumbs up. Again, thank you. Also, check out our merch store. We have all kinds of cool merch, sweatshirts, uh, t-shirts, uh, all kinds of stuff. Buy from myself, Mr. Uh, Kurgan, my homie, Mr. Lobo. We got the uh, Ulu, K-Bar, Badge, and Toki. See ya. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below.